Because I was like, oh, that's a little suspicioso. But who really now knows? Guys, welcome back to the channel. Gangsters, what's up guys? If this is your first time here, congrats. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Consider subscribing. We are on our way to a thousand subscribers, baby. We are making our way there, so please, let's get ahead of this bandwagon, right? Don't be like Bitcoin and sit on it, right? Because we're all kicking ourselves now that we didn't jump on that bandwagon early. So, if you guys want to have some awesome content, you guys want to enjoy yourselves, Go ahead and jump on the bandwagon, all right? And if this is not your first time here, great. I'm happy to see you again. Hopefully we got some good content for you today to, uh, I don't know, listen to, enjoy, give you entertainment, uh, do some cardio. I don't know, whatever you're going to do. But uh, we are here for you, so um, let's get to it. All right, so guys, today we are going to talk about some truck giveaway companies. More specifically, we're gonna be talking about their merchandise. Because if you're gonna be spending a lot of money to get entries to win a truck with money on top, you wanna make sure that your investment is going to something that's relatively good quality. We're gonna break down three of these companies' t-shirts. We're gonna go with that. Um, because if you're like me, if you want to get entered into something, I'm not going to spend the most amount of money on something, but I'm not going to spend the least amount of something. And I want to get something that's like repping the company, right? So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and get myself a t-shirt in particular, a black one, because that's what I like to wear. So we're going to talk about three companies, right? That basically started out in their infantile stages and grew rapidly throughout this whole pandemic over the last three years. Um, they all have social media following. They all have uh, yada 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 as far as marketing goes, but they're all a little bit different. They all do things a little bit different um, I think that all three companies that we're gonna talk about have cool trucks. They have cool builds and um, And I, for the most part they have pretty good social media like they, they'll keep you entertained um, But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the quality of the products that they're dishing out um, Now the companies we're gonna talk about today are number one we're gonna talk about Inner Force. Number two, we're gonna talk about Enthusiast. Number three, we're gonna talk about Legend Supply Company, LGND Supply Company. So, Inner Force is based out of Colorado. Um, we got LGND that's based out of Connecticut, and we're gonna talk about Enthusiast because they are based out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So, uh, they're about an hour from where I live, so I'm gonna try not to be biased, but um, I dig their. Basically, I dig all of their content on YouTube. They have very cinematic footage, and their clothes aren't too bad, but we're gonna get into that right now, okay? So, I need to preface this by saying that some people think that these companies are a scam. And to that, I would say, I hope not, because I would not like to think that these companies are like jeopardizing moral compass just to sell things, but that's what a lot of people do. Now, just from like, watching their content and whatnot, if they are scamming people, then these people are very good at deceiving people to get some money. And all these companies grew super rapidly. But I like to, I like to think that they're not, you know? So I'm gonna go on that. I'm gonna say, uh, if someone was to ask me, I'd say, no, you know, one, because I'm buying the products, right? So I wanna think that I'm actually gonna have a chance at winning one of these sweet trucks. But, uh, and, and two, just cause like, when you're watching them, like they seem like they're decent people. You know, but I guess that's, you know, what scammers do, but I don't think they're a scam. The only time I had a little bit of doubt was about three years ago, Gio, who like owns LGND Supply Company, and um, Dirty Max Jack, who you can look up on uh, on YouTube as well. He He's the owner of Enthusiasts, right? Around the same time, I don't think they were communicating with each other, but there was a video for both of them before one of their truck giveaways a few years ago, and they were talking about how they didn't have any female winners, right? And they were they were both saying in videos, yeah, it would be cool if we got a female winner, right? Well, sure enough, within the next round or the round after that, there was a female winner of the trucks. Now, now I'm not saying that there's not, like not a ton of females that are trying to like buy this merchandise and they want lifted trucks and all that stuff because that's definitely a niche and it's definitely that it's something that I find attractive. You know, not everybody does, but uh, if, if a girl can like handle like a sweet ass diesel truck, then you know I think that's kind of cool. Not gonna lie, but um, but that's the only time I had a little bit of doubt because I was like, oh, that's a little suspicioso. 
But who really now knows? Papa Gijo. I like the thing it's not a scam, and we're gonna talk about the quality of some of these shirts that are rolled out. Um, within the past few years, um, now I have some shirts that are a lot older than other shirts, um, and I have some shirts that um, that are kind of recent. Like I bought some Inner Force shirts that are, are pretty recent, and I got them not to be. And you know what? When I when I bought these, there was no truck giveaway when I bought the Inner Force shirts. So that's a little biased, but we're gonna break it down. So if we're gonna break things down by cost, quality, right? which is essentially value. These are gonna break down into um, a few things. One, um, for my body type, I can only base these shirts and these fitments off of my body type, right? Which is the American body type. And with the American body type, um, I just got a little bit more to love. I'm just gonna say that, right? So uh, I've been weightlifting for like 20 years. Over the last like 10 years, I was doing a lot of like powerlifting, bodybuilding type stuff. Uh, type type workouts, you know, and uh, my wife and I we had like we had we had kids over the past like three years, so you know, I'm not as uh, chiseled as I used to be, but I always said now that once I have kids, if I can have a body type um, where like I'm at the beach with my shirt off, whatever, people might look at me and go, you know, that guy looks like he works out. He looks like he could do some damage, and he also looks like he can definitely chug a beer. That's like the body type that I'm going for, right? My arms are 16 and a half inches, so, you know, I have pretty big arms, I have a big chest, but like as far as belly goes, I have a little bit of belly in there. So I want something that's not gonna be not too uh, tight on my belly when I'm, when I'm wearing shirts. But yeah, so like as far as like arms go and things like that, I want everything else to be tight, right? That's like the look that I like. I like having like, uh, a t uh, like an athletic type of look, even though um, I basically have like a dad bod, right? American style, baby. So as far as fitment goes, we're gonna give it to the companies Interforce and Enthusiast. Their fitment is basically spot on for like my body type. I can say that, and I think it's I think it's true to size. Um, now with Interforce, I'm gonna say that um, I enjoy their company because they have a very minimalistic design with majority of their clothing. And I dig that. So like, this is a shirt that I have here, uh, extra large, right? That's what I wear. Um, you know, I don't even know if you guys can see that, but it's like a very minimalistic design. It's like a, like a ghost design in the shirt, right? But that's kind of like what I'm into. Um, it's a lightweight material, right? And I'm not gonna break this down like I'm a fashionista or whatever, but this is another shirt that they have. Check this out. It's, a, it's just a, a basic t-shirt, a basic t-shirt, and that is the only design that's on there. It's just, it's just Inner Force, right? So I dig it, right? That's kind of like what I'm looking for when I'm gonna buy a shirt, you know, cause I, I wanna be able to wear it out. So if it's all black or has like a, a minimal design on, that's like what I'm looking for. So if, if you're not looking for that, you might wanna jump with another company, but that's one thing that I was drawn to was like, I don't, I'm not into like the luxury lifestyle, whatever, you know? I mean, everybody enjoys those things, but I just like plain black. Like anybody knows me, knows that I wear like a plain black V-neck or black t-shirt basically every day of the year. And if I wear a hoodie on top of this, it's probably gonna be black. Wear a hat, it's probably gonna be black. Even shoes, right? Probably gonna be black. But that's just the style that I like, you know? So my style might not be your style. Anyway. If I was to rank these, Inner Force would come in first as far as value and as far as quality materials. They run all of their t-shirts with um, a 60-40 poly blend, right? Which is something that I look for in a premium t-shirt. So what I mean by that is if you're gonna be spending $25 on a t-shirt, it's gotta be of a premium product, right? So it's gotta be a tri-blend or a poly blend. And if you're watching this and you don't know what I'm talking about, um, if you have a, a shirt that you're wearing regularly that's 100% cotton and it's not like a graphic tee that you got from Walmart, which was probably a poly blend, not gonna lie to you. Um, but the shirt you're wearing is probably like a team building exercise shirt. It's probably a bar crawl shirt, okay, that, you, that people spent, you know, eight bucks on, five bucks on, 
right? Real cheap is 100% cotton t-shirts and, and undershirts. So like if you think about like back in like, you know, 80s era, like pit stains, whatever, and a white t-shirt, that's a 100% cotton undershirt, okay? That's what I'm talking about. That's a cheap shirt and they have their purpose. But you can't be wearing these shirts to go out in. You can't be working in these shirts really and expect to, you know, get 30 washes out of them and have them like keep their color. It's just not gonna happen. With these Ender Force shirts, they do. Now, the other company we're gonna talk about here is Enthusiast. Now, they're, they also have like a lot of minimalistic design. So, one of the minimalistic design shirts that I have was like you know, from a few years ago, and this shirt is getting beat, but I, I like that it's got the American flag, just like real small, you know, patching on there, not patching, but like a little uh, decal, whatever. On the back, there's a little bit more, but still, it's it's pretty basic. Like, if you're looking at a, a basic dude shirt, like you're gonna just go like hang out in a garage and drink a couple beers or something like that. Like, this is the kind of shirt that like you want for like summertime, you know? Like, I dig it. Um, they have a few other shirts that, you know, look pretty good. Small designs, right? I think this is from, um, I think this is from last year. This other one's like from two years ago. And this one I think I got last year too, right? Just says like work and stuff like that on there. But it's a, it's a decent shirt, you know, basic minimalist design, all extra large. And the thing I like about it as well, 60-40 poly cotton blends, right? You're getting a premium material. You're getting premium cuts. They fit good on the arms and everything else. These shirts definitely do. Um, but if you want to see me take off my shirt and put these on, uh, you can go to my OnlyFans. Just kidding. No, I don't have an OnlyFans, right? Um, so, uh, but I, I'm just telling you that they fit. They fit well, right? They fit great. So we're gonna get down to like the next company, and it's not to bash this company, but it's to talk about it. So as far as price point, enthusiasts and Enterforce, their t-shirts are gonna run thirty to forty dollars, which is expensive for even a poly blend t-shirt, even a tri-blend t-shirt, that's expensive, right? You're paying because they are smaller companies, you're paying to get your entries in to win these trucks, but I'm gonna say for $30, you know, you're basically getting yourself a premium material. You're getting yourself good quality shirts um, for a price that's, you know, kind of up there, but it's pretty in line with all, like how everything is these days, right? Now, moving these off the side, we are gonna now talk about another company. With those shirts out of the way, let's bring this one onto the uh, field. All right, so Legend Supply Company, not bad. The thing that they got going for them is um, they have other products, just like Enthusiast sells coffee. Um, they have cleaning supplies. Uh, LGND also sells cleaning supplies and they have uh, um, different supplies to you know, uh, detail your truck or detail your car or whatever. Um, now, for this video, we're just basically breaking it down and comparing t-shirts, right? And we're trying to see, based on t-shirts, which is only one category, uh, who's gonna give you the best value. Now, LGND, all of their t-shirts are made of 100% cotton. Beep, beep. Right, so we just talked about that. This is like the shirt that you're gonna wear when you go out on a bar crawl, and then after you wash it, your girlfriend or your wife is gonna wear that shirt to bed. That's what that shirt is for, okay? So with these 100% cotton t-shirts, as soon as you wash them, they're gonna shrink. And they're gonna, and I remember Gio coming out and saying like, hey, you wanna wash these on cold, you don't wanna you know, uh, put them in hot, uh, and a hot dryer, you know, right after you, right after you get these shirts. And it is self-explanatory, but he was making it like, hey, this is kind of self-explanatory. But it's 100% cotton. Like, what are you doing with, like, you're, you're a company that's making millions of dollars at this point, and you're selling a product that's not premium. So that's the only kind of, like, issue I kind of have is that um, as far as designs, you know, as far as designs goes, they make a lot of like minimalistic designs, which I like, but this shirt is an extra large and it's, it's a schmedium, you know, the design still looks pretty decent for the age, 
but that's just because like it hasn't been washed a bunch because I can't wear it because it's it's way too tight like it's constricting on the arms but it's constricting everywhere because it's shrunk right <clears throat> so we don't really wear this shirt too often the other one I do have has not shrunk yet but it's because I've only worn it just a few times and every time I've washed it I've actually kept it um, out of the dryer now the other thing with this shirt is it's a lot bigger than an extra large so the other shirts are extra larges but this shirt is a lot bigger than an actual extra large like compared to all the other extra large shirts I have so I got this extra large shirt and it's shrunk and I thought that maybe it was probably the same size as all the other ones then this one was actually cut bigger than all of the other extra large shirts I have okay great so you know Matt you know I'm only here to get entries into winning this truck so I don't really care about the clothes okay fine right but for me who's always on a budget just like you should always be on a budget we're talking about you know it, we're, we're saying like if I'm gonna be spending my hard-earned money on a product it better be of a premium product now with legend lg and supply company their shirts come in between 40 and 50 dollars lord what the heck for a 100 percent cotton t-shirt that's out of this world that is ridiculous you know 40 to 50 dollars for a 100% cotton t-shirt. Would you buy a Hanes 100% Would you buy a Hanes t-shirt or Fruit of a Loom t-shirt 100% cotton? Would you buy that shirt for 50 bucks? No. You wouldn't. You'd be like you're crazy. Like that that's that, that, sh that should be, you know, eight Hanes t-shirts. Yeah, and you're right. But they think that they're selling you a, a, a premium product, but really they're not. So you're you're getting kind of ripped off in that aspect I mean I'm not trying to I'm not trying to say anything bad about them like you know I'm not saying you're getting ripped off I mean you might like their clothes you might like 100% cotton it might feel the, the best in your skin maybe you have allergies yada 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 but for me if I'm gonna buy a product I want to make sure that the shirt isn't gonna shrink it's gonna hold its color it's gonna be something that's not gonna smell after you start sweating in it you're gonna get like 30 washes out of it right at least so you can wear this thing for like a year two years before you have to go get another one and that means you weren't you're wearing it regularly right that's what i look for that's how i know a product is valuable to me because it's gonna last right and unfortunately for this company their t-shirts are 100 percent cotton and they just they just don't last so to be fair um i went ahead and i compared them with a car building company throttle right which i enjoy all of their content I watch all their car builds. I enjoy that kind of stuff. I think that the people that are working there, all the coworkers, they all, they're all like different characters and they're all funny in their own ways, right? But again, their t-shirts, $30 for 100% cotton. Like it doesn't take much to get a poly blend shirt at a, at a really good value. And you might say that I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about, okay? And so to be even more fair, we went and looked up Diesel Brothers, right? Which also do some giveaways. And they are, their shirts within that $30 to $40 price range, right? Poly blends. You're gonna get a premium product with that. So at the end of the day, I'm watching these videos just like you are, and I'm seeing these awesome truck builds. And if you know I get into it a lot and I really like a truck build, I really like a style of a build, I might keep watching video after video, just like you would. And then I get to that point where I'm just like, you know what? I could really use another enthusiast shirt. It will be mine. Oh yes, it will be mine. So with that being said, is you really are going to buy, you know, the brand, right? A lot of times that's what that's why people buy Nikes. That's why people buy Air Jordans. You know, I mean, people are buying the brand. But you also want to make sure that what you're getting as far as this branding goes is going to be of decent quality. So hopefully this gave you guys some information. Now, not to be devil's advocate or anything like that, but what I'm going to show you guys is something that might be helpful to you. It's going to save you guys some money, right? So 
I am not sponsored by BulkApparel.com. I gotta come out the gate and say that right now. I actually tried to become an affiliate, but there was just like too many hoops I had to jump through. They wanted to know how many followers I had, and I just thought that was a little weird. So, all of the shirts that I, I generally wear are black shirts, right? They are 60-40 poly blend. They're tight on the arms. They're tight on the chest. They look good, right? They look, they're, they're a decent looking shirt. You know, you're rocking a, a baseball hat or whatever, and you, you just look, it's just a style that I like. Right, it's solid. It's basic, but it's clean, and it's just a classic. It's like a classic look. All the shirts I get are from BulkApparel.com, right? Um, this shirt here, I don't know if you can see that one, best company next. It's the next next level, next level, right? And I'll show you even like my last receipt. I spent like $150 on these shirts, and you're like, whoa! Did you only get four shirts? No, but ten shirts, I think. Or something like that. But every time I go there, I spend I, I spend like 100, 150 bucks on good premium quality clothes at a discounted rate. All of these shirts come in under eight dollars, right? Not a lot of people know what bulkapparel.com is, and I don't know why. I have to like explain to people what bulkapparel.com is because they don't believe it. Or they think that it, it is a scam. Like, what do you mean you're buying shirts for six dollars? I'm like, yeah, and it's of a premium quality. Now I'm gonna even share this with you. This Inner Force hat that I got, right? See that one there? It is $35, right? I think I bought this like last year. If you look at the brand, this Yupong or whatever is a decent brand. They make good snapbacks, right? I don't know if you guys can see that up there. There you go. They make decent snapbacks, right? Well, this is a $35 hat. This patch is not embroidered, which would make the hat more valuable, right? It's definitely ironed on. It's an ironed on patch, not embroidered, right? So when I look at this, I know that this is cheaply made. Like, and it's dirty. Look at it. I, 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 I work it, man. It's cheap, you know? It's a cheap material. So, you know, and I'm, I'm going to beat them up regardless, right? But at bulkapparel.com, once I started like really getting into bulkapparel.com, instead of going to these companies and buying black hats for $35, I was like, you know what? I wonder, if, I wonder if they have hats here. So like this hat I'm wearing now, right? You can see that. This is a flex fit. Like it, it's an actual flex fit hat. I think I, I think I bought this hat for like six, $6, right? Six bucks. This hat here is the same exact snack bag as this Enter Force hat. Let me show you. Boom, right? Come on, come on. And this hat under seven dollars. So it's like six dollars and in, in, in some change. So is a six dollar hat with a heated patch on there worth thirty five dollars? I don't know. To some people, maybe it is, but to me, it's not. I think that it's kind of a rip off. So with that, I hope that I gave you guys a little bit of knowledge and now I saved you guys a little bit of money. And um, if you guys work or know somebody at bulkapparel.com and they're getting a ton of orders because of, because of this video and everyone's buying these sweet, awesome V-necks, then throw your dog a bone, man. Hook me up. You won't be disappointed. Now again, let me preface this and say like, this is ba just based on my body type. So someone who's like 5'8", you have pretty big arms, right? You have a pretty big chest and you have a little bit more love in the midsection. These shirts fit great because they're, they're, they're tight on the arms, you know, they're, they're, they're good on the chest and the back, right? Um, but they're not too like, they're not too tight around my, my midsection. And that's not, you know, when I'm walking around, I don't want people to see my love handles just like going everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So that's why these shirts are great. Now this is again, an extra large. So if you're around 5'8", 200 pounds, you're 5'7", 180, you're 5'7", 170, you're 5'8", 180, you know, and you have in your, and you work out, you have pretty decent sized arms or you do like a lot of construction work. So you got big arms, right? Then this shirt's probably gonna look good on you. And it's under eight dollars, and you're gonna be able to wash the crap out of it, wear them every day, beat them up, and not feel that bad about it. But at the end of the day, just know that this shirt that you're beating up is of a quality material, right? It's of a good material, 
it's premium and it's premium cut. Man, these guys should really give me a job. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share, and subscribe. We are on our way to a thousand, baby, and we're gonna get there, and I want you to be on the bandwagon early. So please jump on, okay? Jump on, be with me for this ride, right? So if you agree with everything that I'm saying, or if you disagree, comment below. Let's talk about it. I'm cool with that, let's talk about it. Um, Again, I dig all these companies. I dig their content. I dig what they're doing. Just wanted to break it down as far as value. So hopefully with that knowledge and that savings and that knowledge to get now premium t-shirts at this kind of rate, um, you know, go for it. And with that, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned because we got some cool, cool content coming up. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.